So the temperature of the lead is 313 degrees Celsius. We take our two fingers, maybe it's better to go with just one, two fingers, simply dip them and touch the bottom. How is it? It's a bit deeper than one knuckle. It's more than enough. My arms are fine. They're not even hot. Oh dear. Did you go to the bottom? To the bottom, yes. I have this urge to keep doing something to the delay this moment of dipping my fingers. Oh my, oh dear, oh. <laughs> I can't help myself. You just have to go ahead and do it. Don't think. Turn off your consciousness. Turn off your brain. Just go ahead and do it. That's it. Without thinking, as soon as you start thinking, working yourself up, suddenly it's a very difficult thing to do. You become scared. Dip your hand. First dip it in water, take it out, and dip it in lead. And you really touch the bottom. I did. Yes, water first. Don't forget about it. <laughs> awesome. Make it smooth and calm now. No splashing. Don't hurry. Carefully. First water, then here. Now you know that it's not so scary. Just like that. That's it. Nothing magical about it. What's difficult is to make the movement against this urge that you get when you see your body in molten metal. It is indeed very difficult and scary. That's the secret of overcoming any fear. Because this moment, when you are afraid of dipping your hand, is just the same as when you are scared to start a conversation with a beautiful girl or talk to your boss about a raise. Well, that's not so scary, to be honest. Well, there can be other moments. People are diverse, after all. Everyone has fears. And this is about the moment when you just go for it. So I walk on the street, see a beautiful girl, pour some lead, do this thing, and then, hi, what's your name? Like that? Something like that. You just have to remember the water part. <laughs> <laughs> 